Imagine having to explain to a suspect what no reason means. Reasons matter, and the reason I'm asking you to tell us is because what's on those videos. Look at me. Look at me. What I see on those videos is a stone-cold thug who enjoys pulling the trigger, who enjoys the rush, who enjoys the power. And when they put on the when they put on a projector the size of this wall in front of a jury and watch you shoot a four pound dog for no reason and then put a gun to somebody's what head. What you mean for no reason? Why'd you shoot the dog? What you mean for no reason? Why'd you shoot the dog? I'm saying what well, is no reason though. Well, there's no reason because you won't tell me why. If you tell me why, now I have a reason. Why'd you shoot the dog? What is no reason though? No reason is because no when 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 we have no other reason when we have no idea why somebody does it, then we say there's no reason for it. The detective is having problems getting through to this suspect. Maybe a more impactful approach will prove effective. Look at me. Let's see how it does. But first, let's start from the beginning. The Fort Worth police were investigating a string of violent robberies in which the store clerks were getting shot at and pistol whipped in addition to having their stuff stolen, including personal possessions. Four businesses, all within one mile of one another, reported over the course of one month to have been robbed at gunpoint by a young black male. Security footage showed the man's face, but police were still unable to identify the robber, and so he was getting away with it, until he made one fatal error. During one robbery on the day after New Year's, the robber shot and killed Peanut. Who's Peanut? Peanut is a small, cute, happy little puppy dog, owned by one of the store clerks. And we all know that no matter how well you're doing as a criminal, once you hurt animals, the entire internet becomes detectives assigned to your case. After the Fort Worth Police Department shared video footage of the canicide, the internet came back with an answer. The man in that footage was 18-year-old Donovan Copeland. Detectives arrested Donovan Copeland and brought him in for questioning. Hey, Donovan. Mm. Donovan, sit up. Come on, hop up. Roll over on your side there. Come on, stand up for us. There you go. All right, have a seat right there. I'm going to turn those handcuffs around and put them in front of you, all right? Go ahead and stand up and I'll take the handcuffs and turn them around. Okay. We're not going to have any problems, right? No, sir. Okay. I'm Detective Rainsford. This is Detective Willingham. We want to chat with you for a few minutes, okay? You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and turn around. All right, have a seat. A lot of people talking about you, saying all kinds of different things. We want to get your side of the story. When we do all that, I'm going to read this out loud to you, okay? You have the right to remain silent, not make any statement at all. Any statement you make may be used against you at your trial. Do you understand that? Yes. You're going to have to speak up. I can't hear you. Say yes. Okay. Any information or any statement you make may be used as evidence against you in court. Do you understand that? Yes. You have the right to have a lawyer present to advise you prior to and during any questioning. Do you understand that? Yes. If you're unable to employ a lawyer, you have the right to have a lawyer appointed to advise you prior to and during any questioning. Do you understand that? Yes. You have the right to terminate the interview at any time. Do you understand that? Yes. Can you read that next paragraph out loud for me, please? Have read or understood my legal rights as stated above in this document. I freely, voluntarily, and lawfully waive these legal rights and agree to be interviewed by public. Okay, you understand what all that just says, right? Okay. Do you want to chat with me for a few minutes? Just sign right there and we'll chat for a second. What I'm waving on? You're just allowing us to talk to you. You can stop whenever you want. Okay, today is January 14th, 2023. 
and it's 145. Like I told you, my name is Detective Rainsford. Donovan, how do you really spell your first name? How does it really spell? D O N. What you mean? How does it really spell? Yeah, because you sometimes you spell it D O N A V I N. Sometimes it's D O N O V I N. It's D N O. Are you saying I spell it different? Well, it's been spelled differently when people are dealing with you. I'm asking you how you... How it has it spelled? D-O-N-A-V-I-N. Okay. That's, how could people be spelling it differently? Well, you know, sometimes people don't ask you the correct spelling of your name. All right, Donovan. Uh, the uh, We'll chat with you for a little bit, okay? But it's going to take you being truthful and honest with me, all right? Now, look. We've been doing a lot of work, working on you, okay, investigating things that have happened. You've made a lot of mistakes. We understand that. But there's all kinds of there's all kinds of ways people make mistakes. Sometimes they just, things get caught up. They just lose control. And other times they're just stone cold wanting to try to kill people. We'd like to get your side of the story as to what's been going on with you for the last month. We'd like to hear of why Donovan has been doing all these things. Mm -hmm. So why have you been doing all these things? What's what happened to you? What 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 went wrong? Mm -hmm. Or are you just a stone cold individual who likes the rush of what you did? And all these people are lucky to be alive. Which is it? It's one or the other. If you enjoyed the rush, there's no shame in that. Just tell us. Then tell us your side of the story. How did it happen? What caused all this? Talk to me, Donna. Talk to us. What caused you to do all this? Mm -hmm. You don't know? You just decided to... Do you want us to go... Let's go through them one at a time, okay? Because, see, our job is to gather information. We gather all the information we have, and we give it to the district attorney's office, and they decide what goes on from here. But they're going to ask some questions. They're going to ask... Did Donovan show remorse about what happened? Did Donovan tell the truth about what happened? Did Donovan help you understand how these things happened? You sitting there with your head down going, mm, mm, makes you 0 for 3. Reasons matter, and the reason I'm asking you to tell us is because what's on those videos. Look at me. Look at me. What I see on those videos is a stone cold thug who enjoys pulling the trigger, who enjoys the rush, who enjoys the power. And when they put on the when they put on a projector the size of this wall in front of a jury and watch you shoot a four pound dog. For no reason, and then put a gun to somebody's what head. What you mean for no reason? Why'd you shoot the dog? What you mean for no reason? Why'd you shoot the dog? I'm saying what well, is no reason though. Well, there's no reason because you won't tell me why. If you tell me why, now I have a reason. Why'd you shoot the dog? What is no reason though? No reason is because no when 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 we have no other reason when we have no idea why somebody does it. Then we say there's no reason for it. So I just walked in. Did and that shot dog, the dog attack you? So I just walked in and shot the dog. You said you seen the video. Yeah, I did. So and I that's just exactly in what and it, shot it. That's exactly what it looks like. That's what it looked like. That's exactly what it looks like. Uh, for sure. So was it different? Tell me. If it's different than that, you tell me. You don't talk like that. Then I don't. Know it, it, what you would. How should I talk to you then? How should I talk to you then? You shot a four-pound dog. Did it scare you? 
what it looked like. You tell me. I don't know what was going through your head at the time. That's why I'm asking you, what was going on? I didn't want to, you, I didn't go there to shoot the dog. Okay. That wasn't the plan. That wasn't, then that's now, obvious. Okay, now I understand then. I didn't, didn't want to shoot the dog. The dog, like, I don't know. Did the dog scare I you? Never, I ain't never yell. Okay. You know, like that. So, I felt the dog, like, yeah. You want to know about the same I'm, I'm not knowing how, what to do. So, I don't know what to tell the lady. So, like, the dog want to know. I'm, I'm trying to come steal something from the store. I don't, what am I, what am I supposed to do? Okay. At that point, I didn't know. So all I knew was, like, get, like, get the dog out the way. Okay. What'd you tell the lady after the dog got shot? I told her I ain't mean to, I, I didn't want to do that. Okay. What else did you tell her? Give me the word of money. Okay. And what did she say? I don't remember. What happened next? She was just like, why you do that to my dog? I ain't even want to tell her I didn't want to do that. And then what happened? Did you take the money then? No, I just didn't want to hurt the dog. Okay. But you you took money from the store, though, too, right? Because, I mean, that's you can see that on camera, too. Yeah, I'm talking, okay. saying the dog. All right. I mean, and what else did you take from the lady? Her car. Her car? What else did you take from inside the store? Did you take a gun from inside the store? Yeah. Okay. And then you, you got her car. And where did you go in her car? Oh, no. I didn't know how. After I'm... I don't know, I'm just thinking like I can't go back. To, I don't know. I don't want to kill a like dog. But it wasn't my intention. I ain't, I know the dog ain't do nothing, but probably trying to protect his owner, but I couldn't, I couldn't do, I can't do nothing about it. Okay. So the gun that you took from the store? That's the same gun your brother had today, right? Yeah, that's my gun. The gun he had today is your gun? Yes, sir. That's the same gun that came out of the store, though, right? Yes, sir. It is? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, sorry, I can't hear you very much when you're mumbling. So when did you give your brother the gun that came out of the store? I put it in the seat. I think when they, when they, what's now, when I got out, he probably grabbed it because he didn't want them to shoot. Like, he was just hitting her. Were you holding it when the police rolled up on you today? No, it was just right there in the seat. Okay. So, tell me about the, the time where you robbed the game room. Was the plan just to go in and get money from that too? Yeah. Okay. Who were you with on that one? Because you had a buddy along. Who? I don't know him. I met him there. Like, I met him not too far down the road from there. What's his name? I don't know him. I met him in the apartments. Which apartments? It's right there by the Valero. The apartments directly across the street from Valero? Where was he at in those apartments? Like in the middle part, by the dog part. Does he by live the there? Dog. Does he live there? Oh, no, I just met him at the basketball goal. What was he doing when you met him at the basketball goal? Shooting the ball. Okay. When did you meet... How long before you guys went to the game room and did the robbery, did you meet him? You been knowing him a while? No. Nah, that day, though, I'd be like... 
some hours before. And you just wanted him to go do the robbery with you? Is that what happened? Or was it his idea to go to the game room? Uh, my plan, but... Your plan? I, okay. I just... I don't know, I'm trying to, trying to get someone the only way I know. Okay. So let's go back to the one at the Chevron, the one in December. That happened in Saginaw up the street, you know? What happened with that one? Tell me, walk me through that one. What you mean? Tell me, you know, where were you standing? Was Did you go in the store? What happened when you went in the store? Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened when you went up to that Chevron. And tell me what you remember about how it happened. Where were you at? What you did? What you saw? I can't remember that. Did you fire the gun then? What were you aiming at when you fired the gun? It's in the iron. Okay. Why did you fire the gun? Oh no, it was, it was my first time ever doing something like this. I, I didn't know what to do. So why'd you fire the gun? To get the cash. Okay. So how much cash did you get from that one? I don't remember. Did you take anything other than the cash? Yeah, it's cool. Was it a he or a she? I don't remember. Do you remember what kind of car it was? It was the person car. Person working in the store? Was it a SUV or a car? A car. A car. Okay. You remember what color it was? How about that? Where'd you drive it to? I don't remember. But I, I don't know. I was thinking about a lot of stuff. I don't, this type of stuff I don't even remember. All right. Well, then how about the time you went into the Sunny Mart? That's where the dog was killed, right? Okay. Oh no. Tell me about when you went to tell me about just this past Monday at the Valero. Tell me what happened then. When? At the Valero. When, jumped up on the counter. when you went up on the counter. This past Monday when you stole this Chevy Equinox. The SUV. Why'd you shoot the gun then? What? The very last robbery that you did, you remember it, was this past Monday. Wednesday. Or, I'm sorry, Wednesday. Tell me what you remember about the Valero at Longhorn. Tell me what you, tell me what you remember. Donovan, the more we understand about why you've done these things... I don't know. I don't know how. I just... Tell me what happened. The only happened. way I just knew how to get, get you. It's the only get way you know how to get cash? Get into my mama. Yeah. You gave the money? Right, so... Huh? They said get into my mama. Uh, stuff wasn't going right, so... so I was like, on my own. I'm young, 18. Can't, get, no, can't just go get no job, like get hired the same day. But that's the only way I just knew how to get in here. Like, I don't know how I had to. I mean, I mean, you know, how many, think of it just. How many times did you do these? How many robberies did you do? How many robberies do you think you've done? No. I think you know. Three. Hmm. One, two, three. How many times did you shoot the gun? I don't know. Okay. Let's think about the game room robbery when you had that kid go with you this that time, the one you met at the basketball goal. 
You with me? Okay. Who hit the man in the head with the gun? Is that you? You need to remember because that's very important. Because we found that gun in your house, in your apartment. So tell me, was that you that hit the man in the head with the gun? Yes, sir. Okay. Why did you hit the man in the head with the gun? Did he make you mad? Did he scare you? What happened? Everything just happened in a rush. Everything just happened in a rush? Yeah, like, I don't know how to, how to deal with it till it just come up. You know, I ain't, I ain't even trying to hurt people, but I, I guess that's just what happened in, in the midst of me doing what I'm doing. Do you remember what you told those ladies at the Valero? No. When you went in there, how many people were inside there? I don't remember that. You said what? I don't remember that. You don't remember? Were you high when you were doing these? Shrugging your shoulders is not an answer. Look at me! You're not scaring me. Don't get the door. I don't care thing. if I'm scaring right, you or not. I'm thing. asking you a simple stop question. Stop doing all that thing. Don't start then you can all that. then you can show me the respect to answer my question. Don't start doing all that though, cause I'm crying. I'm just crying cause I'm thinking about stuff that I've been doing. Don't don't start yelling this shit. Just then answer keep, my question. All right, start talking regular though. Don't then start my hyping me up. Then answer my question. Answer my question. I think I'm crying cause I'm no. I'm crying I don't care why you're crying. All right, so don't start doing slamming the table and stuff like. What? Like you was what? I'm trying to get you to answer my question. All right, so just keep talking regular. Don't start yelling and stuff, stuff at me. Don't do that. Well, then don't give me mm, mm. Yeah. All right, I'm just saying, though. Don't start yelling and stuff at me. Keep talking how you was talking, asking questions. All I was getting was mm. Sometimes you need to wake up. Yeah, I'm up. Okay, then answer our question. What you talking to? Just talk to me like you asking. Don't, don't get to yelling and stuff. That's all I'm saying. You slapped on the table. What was that for? What was all the slapping on the table? Wake you for? up. To wake you up. Yeah, all right. You awake now? You awake? Playing games now? I wondered whether or not you would. And I'm saying. Blame this on it. I wondered if whether or not this was these were accidental shootings or not. I don't think they were. Now I think you enjoyed this. Why do you say that? Because the way you're acting right now. I'm just saying that I'm, you you get the slap on the table. I'm just saying what what was you doing that for? You could have kept talking to me regular. I was talking to y'all. No, you weren't. You were giving me mm. That's mm. Good. But I was still why did you talking. Hit, why did you hit the man with the gun? I didn't want to. Like I just said, everything happened in a rush. Like it's just there. Like I ain't know. Just make just make him move. I don't I don't know. Like everything just happening at the moment. Like. I can't even really say, like, why I did it, like, why I hit them off, you know? I mean, everything just happened. Well, answer Detective Williams' question. What did you tell the women at the Valero? Well, I don't remember. Do you remember going in that Valero? Hmm. Do you remember going into the Valero? You do? You remember taking that lady's car too? No, sir. Why'd you throw all their stuff all over the floor? In their purse? What? I told them it was nothing against them. There you, see, that, that's what I was asking. That's what I was trying to figure out. That you said it was nothing against them. But what made you throw, like, the stuff all over the purse? Because it's some older ladies, you know? Because I'm just moving fast. Like. Bro. I'm just doing 
What uh, what made you fire the gun that time? Cause I, I told you I ain't, I did that the first time, so I, I didn't know what I did. Doing what I, I didn't know what to do. Became I a had habit. The cash. I didn't know how to get the cash. Like, oh my God, like, Is there anything you want us to tell these people that were in these stores? Is there anything you want us to tell them? Yeah. What do you want us to tell them? Yeah. Now I'm for putting them through something that they shouldn't have been through, but they ain't do nothing wrong. I just hope they okay and stuff. I just oh thank you. Give me I ain't, I ain't mean to hurt nobody. I'm glad you said that. Cause one of those old ladies, she it's hard for her to sleep at night. I had a I had to have a meeting with her just yesterday. And she's nervous. She feels like, you know, you go and just come over there and do something to her. She says she can't even sleep. She's been worried. I want to hurt the people. I mean, I want to, like, trying to hurt them. How long have you been staying at your brother's apartment? I just came over there. When? Not like yesterday, but earlier that day. So Thursday or Friday? Because today's Saturday. Nah, yesterday. Yesterday? Earlier, earlier that day. Where were you at before that? I was just sitting at some apartments on the west side. What else you want to talk? What else you want to tell us about all these other robberies? I do. What's that? I got caught on the first one. You what? You wish you got caught on the first one? Why is that? I don't want to keep going. Is this you? That's when you shot that dog, right? Yeah. You pull your braids back all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So you can see? He's not braids. Mm -hmm. I mean your dreads, sorry. Is this that dude you said was playing basketball? Yeah. And that's you standing next to him? His name, is his name Brandon? You don't know? You don't have a street name? No, I didn't really get into it with him. How much money did y'all get from that, uh, from Valero the other day? We threw them ladies' stuff all over the place. How much money did you end up leaving with? That's $200. What'd you spend the money on from that and the other stores? Just living? Do it right there. Okay. Do you have any questions for us, man, before we get up out of here? Yeah, I would. But I... You want to know what your charges are? Yeah, yeah. Aggravated robbery, deadly weapon, and then the stuff that happened in Parker County, and then the stuff that happened in White Settlement. You know, I said was the worst thing about when you were in the hotel with Madeline. Yeah. Okay. 
they got warrants out for you for stealing her car, tearing up her phone, and assaulting her. And then you know what happened in Parker County. So they got warrants out for you for what happened out there. What happened in Parker County? I don't know about Parker County. Tell them about when the deputy stopped you in your car, the Hyundai. What happened? What's on the thing? I don't know. That was like something at night. Like, what time was that? Yeah, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I don't remember. I was, I wasn't, yeah, sober. So what happened? I just you know I ended up running. I can't remember everything because I, I wasn't sober. So I just noticed that I ended up running. I got away. Mm-hmm. Where'd you run from? Damn. I don't know about but you just were you on a curb? Were you ran from a car? Where, where were you a when you car. ran? A car. Oh, you was in a cop car? How'd you get out? The windows down. Oh, you had a window down? You just jumped out? Yes, sir. Like, like, with, like, with, like with the robbers and stuff, like, so I like, what is it? You said what is the charges? Aggravated robbery, deadly weapon. You can be charged with a bunch of those. Yeah, we do too. Hang tight. We'll be back with you in a minute. Stand up, bro. Don't put the cuffs back on the bodge. You better pull them up from the back if you want. You like this one this way? When it's behind you? Is that good right there, Corey? They don't want my brother. Um, I don't know if you're going to talk to him or not yet. Donovan Copeland was sentenced to 70 years in prison for six counts of aggravated robbery and animal cruelty.